Today we're talking about what is NOPS. How NOPS provides full visibility into your AWS and Azure environments, including an integration into well-architected framework, reserve instances, and a comprehensive reporting capabilities. Joining me today is Mike Till, Director of Solution Delivery at NOPS. My name's John Meyer, and I'm the Chief Evangelist at NOPS. We have some exciting things happening today. Not only are we talking about what is NOPS, but I'd like to share with you an upcoming release of the NOPS SDK. You're gonna to wanna to stick around and you don't wanna miss this. Don't forget, as always, if you're on YouTube, hit that like, subscribe, and notify. If you're on LinkedIn or Twitter, don't forget to click that follow. Please join me in welcoming Mike Till, Director of Solutions Delivery at NOPS. Mike, thanks for joining me. Oh yeah, happy to be here. Mike, before we jump into what is NOPS, because I just joined NOPS. Now I know what the product is before joining, but I think it's good to set, you know, a little bit of a backstory on everything. And before we jump into that, you know, you and I, we just found out that we actually worked together previously when I was at AWS. So small tech world. Really is. It's, uh, it's definitely one of the smaller <laughs> areas that I've, uh, I've encountered. It's quite hilarious, actually. Everyone seems to know everybody. Cracks me up. It it's really unique how um, if you think about it, all the tech out there, all the companies out there, yet we all somewhat know each other or somehow know each other or have worked together. I can t honestly tell you, yes, I have a social presence, but I, I can't go anywhere and be like, hey, we worked together before. Do you know that? <laughs> yep. Yep. It's hilarious. It's, it's uh, it makes it easy, though, because you already know everybody. <laughs> so we can get the formalities out of uh, out of the way already. And speaking of that, Mike, what is NOPS? Tell uh -huh. me about it. Yep. What, is, what is your whole elevator pitch? Yes, the golden question. Well, NOPS is a cloud management platform. So we're essentially uh, a SaaS tool that sits on top of AWS and Azure. We pull in all sorts of metadata, like utilization metrics, inventory data, all that fun stuff, and just really make it easier to understand, you know, what's going on with the uh, with the environments, whether it's from a cost perspective and identifying potential cost optimization opportunities, as well as, you know, seeing how the infrastructure stacks up against uh, well-architected best practices. So ideally, you know, it's it's there to make sure you're staying on track and, you know, not letting things fall through the cracks. Does it give you complete visibility? Because I, 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 you mentioned about staying on track, right? Mm -hmm. And I've got a lot of accounts out there. Oh, yeah. What's the visibility for me? Oh, yeah, we get it all, man. We, uh, we can integrate with the AWS organizations, um, same for Azure. And we pull everything in from the, the cost and usage report for all the cost data, which keeps that organization intact. And we're able to see all your costs for the entire organization underneath that master payer. With the read-only policy that we have, we're able to pull in all sorts of metadata. Like I said, utilization metrics, inventory data, cloud trail. I mean, pretty much everything you could ever possibly want, you know, to understand from your your cloud environment. All right, two things. One, you said read-only data. I imagine, right? This is an easy conversation because a lot of people don't want you to have that right access. Yeah. But allowing read access, you pull in all that data. Why can't I just do this myself? I mean, I love opening up that curve file and opening my huge spreadsheet and looking at all, all the information and data and try to correlate all the lines, right? Yep, yep. And I would say you're definitely a special breed if you like <laughs> chewing through some curve data. <laughs> you might be the only one. Um, you know, sure, you could absolutely do it yourself, but you know, there, there's a time tax that comes to that. I mean, especially if you have a larger organization, um, those curve files can be so incredibly massive. It's, it's kind of hilarious. Um, you know, NOPS, it makes it super easy. We're built on a newer architecture, built around microservices. So we're able to ingest that curve data quickly, give you some, some easy to use dashboards and reporting tools to really slice and dice that data in really any manner that you want. So for example, you know, if you want to see all of my spend for EC2s in a particular region, just a couple of quicks, uh, clicks and it quickly pulls that up for you to be able to digest. Sure beats, you know, slicing and dicing uh, uh, and pivoting all within Excel from the days of old. <laughs> With the other platforms that are out there for cost and usage, mm -hmm. what makes NOPS different? 
Yeah, um, definitely some similarities there. Um, the big differentiator for us is the fact that we're a truly a single pane of glass. So if you're a multi-cloud organization with AWS and Azure, you know, all of that cost data across both clouds are going to be in, you know, the same reporting tool. You don't have to jump between portals. It's all there for you. Additionally, everything that we do is in regards to those five, now six pillars of the well-architected framework review. So you're quickly able to see how that infrastructure stacks up, um, which, you know, a lot of the other tools out there aren't, you know, necessarily doing at the level that we're doing. The five pillars, now soon, six pillar. Now, AWS did release a six pillar, yep. and NOPS will be supporting that shortly. Yep. We're actually integrated with the well architected team. In fact, wasn't NOPS one of the first partners that had access to the APIs in order to ingest the data and be able to do well architected reviews for customers? Yep. That's 100% correct. Um, it works very nicely. We're completely integrated with those APIs. Amazon just opened up that sixth pillar API. So that's coming into the announced platform very soon. But yeah, we're, we're able to pull every question in word for word and you know run it against the environment. And actually using our own rule set that we have, we're actually able to help auto answer some of those questions when you go through the review. So you know, it's nice, helps you move through it quickly, you know, for the more mundane data point driven questions out there, you can see that they've already answered and move right along. What percentage of questions would you think are answered automatically by NOPS? And I have to take this percentage and say, that's a lot of time savings that happens. Yeah, hundred um, percent. I would say it depends on the pillar. Um, for security, you know, we can certainly answer a good portion of those questions. I would say maybe 40% of those, maybe 50%, um, you know, because it's more data driven. Like, do you have MFA enabled? Well, that's stuff we're able to easily see. For other pillars, like the operations pillar, um, you know, that's more process based. It's more of a conversational piece to it. Like, do you have a disaster recovery policy in place if things were to go down? Um, you know, those types of things. Obviously, you can't really tie it to a data point, but you do have the option to upload those documents directly to the well-architected review right within NOPS, which actually does help answer the questions as soon as you upload it. So for the things we can't necessarily help you answer, we're going to make it easy for you to, um, you know, get those documents in place and, and move you along that way. I've done a couple well-architected reviews from scratch. I didn't use the NOPS tool. It wasn't available to me. Right. Originally, when I started out as a partner and signed up for the well-architected partner type program, I started doing well-architected reviews. And let me tell you what, it was like an eight-hour sit-down session, oh, and yeah. it probably took two hours to answer the first pillar. <laughs> yep. I think utilizing the tool definitely saves a lot of time and money and provide you the correct answers and guidance. Yep, hundred percent. And that's why you know we're so integrated with the partner community because you know we enable them to be able to now go through these reviews quicker with their customers and ultimately get to that remediation conversation, which the partners are ultimately there to help and support their customers with. And ops rules that are available. Can you talk a little bit about the rules that are available? I know we're talking about well-architected reviews in the framework, yep. but NOPS does so much more. Correct. Yeah, our NOPS rule set is our essentially our master rule set that we're using to evaluate the overall health of the cloud environment. Um, a lot of these checks have been curated from obviously well-architected and the questions there within, but also um, you know, various compliance reports like SOC 2, HIPAA, CIS, you know, we've made checks for certain um, controls within those frameworks and even our own customer base. You know, we have customers that recommended we had certain checks and, you know, we, we ultimately get them onto a roadmap somewhere and into production. So at the end of the day, it's just a nice collection of, you know, industry standard checks and, um, you know, to see where you stack up. You took the words out of my mouth. I was actually going to say the industry standard, what's happening out in the world, uh, customer feedback. You're taking these rules, these checks, and now you're integrating them into NOPS and you're saying, you know what? We've got a number of customers that are asking for this. This needs to be a standard feature yep. that's available or standard check or rules. All right, let's get back to like NOPS in general. Uh, sure. Costs, what about like unused resources maybe untagged resources, which some people feel that tagging wasn't important then, but has been, is the biggest thing in, in an AWS or cloud environment. 100%, you're absolutely right. Um, you know, from a tagging perspective, I, I like to say you're only as strong as your tagging policy when it comes to, you know, working in the cloud. 
Um, you know, with the way the cloud is and how flexible it is, you know, sprawl can happen. Things get spun up and down all the time. Um, and really the only way to, to account for a lot of these from a cost perspective is making sure you have things tagged properly. And within the NOPS tool, uh, we have uh, a some easy to use tagging reporting tools to be able to identify exactly what your tag keys are, the corresponding tag values underneath them, how much of those tag values are accounting for the overall tag key cost, and most importantly, being able to understand what's untagged. You know, nothing makes a, a finance person's palm sweat more than, you know, a bunch of untagged and unallocated costs. So being able to quickly identify, hey, you got a 50 EC2s that are untagged, you know, Let's get those tagged up and accounted for so you know where every dollar that you're spending is going. 50 EC2s, every dollar being spent, does NOPS provide that visibility into, well, you mentioned all accounts, but what about all these regions? You know, the, the biggest thing that I found with AWS is the visibility into all regions. You go into the console and you just see one region, but they did provide new visibility within the EC2 dashboard for a regional visibility. Does NOPS do the same thing? Absolutely. Our cost control tool makes that, again, very, very easy to, to understand. And we're getting all the same cost data because it's coming from that cost and usage report. So. Yeah, you can look at certain regions, all your EC2s in a given region. You can look at, you know, even things like usage types, like data transfer costs, I know can be a bit of a bear to find, you know, within, you know, the, the native consoles. So we make that very easy. Again, it's as simple as clicking the filter you want to see, and it changes the graphs and the tables to present all that cost data for you. Data transfer cost, the hidden cost that nobody accounts for. Exactly. <laughs> or you can't see, you're not reporting on it, but NOPS is actually pulling that in. Yep. What about RIs? RIs are big, a, a huge <laughs> amount of cost savings that are available to that. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. RIs are great. Um, you know, if, if you're in a place to be able to purchase RIs, it's going to really help drive down that cost. Obviously, there's a bit of a caveat with that. You got to make sure you have the right RI size and, you know, you have the, uh, the, the correct coverage that you need because, you know, at the end of the day, you don't want to leave money on the table from purchasing an RI that you haven't fully capitalized on. So NOPS does make it easy. Again, we're able to report on the RIs that you have. We can tell you how much of the RIs you've been utilizing. So you can make those judgments if you need to, say six months into a one-year RI commitment. And if you only used a couple hours, you might wanna make some changes to make sure you're getting that full capitalization on those savings. I know NOPS is working on something big to take us to the next level, yeah. right? Based off some of the feedback that you're talking about, I, I envision NOPS is more than a cost reporting or usage tool. It has all the security capabilities, well-architected review and framework, AWS and Azure. Mm -hmm. How do I get started? And before I spoil anything else or leave a little bit more information at the end, how do I get started in adding, say, my AWS account to the NOPS console? I mean, is it really simple? How soon can I realize the benefits? Yeah, honestly, you can get up and running. Well, you can get it configured probably within five minutes. It's super easy. We use CloudFormation on the AWS side to do a lot of the heavy lifting. Uh, like I said, it will spin up an IAM role in the AWS account. It attaches that read-only policy. Um, it will spin up an S3 bucket and a cur file to put in that bucket, which is how we get all the cost data. And then from there, you just got to wait a full 24 hours for the data to essentially bake into the platform. But after that, you are ready to hit the ground running. Um, like I said, it does not take long. Thankfully, with CloudFormation exists and does all the all the hard stuff for us. <laughs> Can you help me understand why you spin up a new cur file? Why can't I use the existing one and get reports ASAP? Yeah, great question. Um, we like to spin up one with uh, with the CloudFormation because that way we know it's the the correct format. It all works exactly as intended. Um, there are situations where we can use existing ones, but we just got to make sure that it is the the correct format and and breakdown. Now I know AWS changes the type uh, curve file not frequently, right? The format they add new lines and everything, but I think utilizing the CloudFormation and how NOPS generates it alleviates any of those long-term issues that might happen where the file might change because we're pulling that exact data column structure yep. and ingesting it into NOPS. Yep, exactly. You nailed it. All right. In the future, now I want to talk about this because there's some things that are coming up that I'm going to talk about and I just want to hype it up just a little bit. Sure. Mike, you and I talked a little bit offline with regards to all the data that NOPS is pulling in. Wouldn't it be nice to take all this events, all this data that we already ingest 
and do your own customization off of it. Maybe more RI awareness actions. What about, um, you know, you can do some provisioning, maybe adding accounts automatically to NOPS. Mike, is there anything we want else want to add on to it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm glad you brought this up. Yeah, we're, uh, <clears throat> we're, 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 we're trying to move towards a, a more of a platform based type of tool set. So instead of, you know, putting in feature requests for, hey, I need this type of reporting. Well, we're just gonna open up the entire thing. You'll have access to our entire, you know, data set of everything that we're pulling in, you know, opening up those APIs. So now you can theoretically code whatever you need to pull out of the platform. You know, some, some simple use cases, for example, around EBS, you know, maybe you wanna move from GP2 to GP3. Well, since we already have all that data in the platform ready to go, you can pull that out you know, run it against the environment, identify everything that's GP2, and then, you know, using Lambda or some automated process, you can now convert everything over to GP3, which gives you better performance and a better price point. So that's just a simple example of where we're heading. Um, and we're very excited about it because it really opens up uh, a lot of opportunity for organizations to really build their own solutions on top of the platform. Wait, 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 Mike, Mike, are you telling me there's going to be an NOPS SDK? You better believe it. Yep. Oh, awesome. Okay. I'm not going to spoil any more information. We will be sharing a number of things in the upcoming days or weeks. Mike, before we wrap things up, anything else you'd like to share with the audience? And it doesn't even have to do with tech, but you know, knowing you, uh, it might be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, man, let me see. Well, I mean, today's Thursday, tomorrow's Friday, weekend's coming up. Um, doing some recording with some buddies of mine on the old guitar um you know it's uh it's gonna be a good weekend <laughs> wait mike i think we have to have you do a little bit of an open or a live session next time on the guitar sure sure i can play wonderwall <laughs> <laughs> maybe i should relabel this as like thirsty thursday or something perfect crack, crack open <laughs> some cold ones we'll have ourselves a time <laughs> Oh, speaking of cold ones, we are doing an event. I, you're hosting one of our events coming up on April 27th, but we are doing an event. Uh, what is it? Uh, it's going to be in end of May, June. I, I think actually June will it will involve some of those cracking of a cold ones. Perfect. That's my I, I will keep you informed. In fact, I didn't even tell you about that, but uh, I'll I'll add that now. So you'll have to sign up for it, but stay tuned for more information. Count me in. I'll be there. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Okay, everybody. Mike Till, Director of Solutions Delivery at NOPS. My name's John Meyer, Chief Evangelist. And guess what, folks? We're out of here. All right. Alexa, turn off podcasting lights. <laughs>